Florida's controversial 15-week abortion ban is moving forward tonight. Today, a GOP-controlled House panel approved the measure for final consideration. Tonight, our Capitol correspondent for Saunders in Tallahassee with the update on why the ban is now just steps away from the governor's desk. Public outcry at the meeting was fierce. More than 100 people registered to speak, most of them opposed. But that didn't sway the GOP majority, now set to consider HB5 on the House floor. It was tense inside the committee room Thursday. Police ready outside as the public filled seats inside, ready to hear one of the most controversial bills of the year. The state's interest in protecting unborn life is clearly compelling at 15 weeks. HB5 sponsor Rep. Aaron Grawl again argued the move from 24 to 15 weeks is humane. Exceptions only for fatal fetal issues, not rape or incest. There is no right to abortion in the federal constitution or the state constitution. There is a right to life. While there was some public support from religious groups. Innocent human life is valuable and precious. Most testimony was impassioned opposition. What do we do? Will our rights are under attack? Stand up, fight back. Many considered HB5 a dangerous and extreme restriction on women's health care. I'm going to be posting a list of all of you that are voting for this because we're going to email you our stories. Others noted it would likely be on hold day one, at least until the U.S. Supreme Court finishes reviewing a similar Mississippi law. Abortion is health care, and we have to get away from making it this political football. Democrats unsurprised by the outcome. They lack the votes needed to kill or amend the bill, despite another attempt to water it down. Members urged voters take note. Look at the things that are being passed this year because, yes, we don't have the numbers, but please let that motivate you and encourage you to get out and vote. HB5 now heads to the House floor for final discussion and debate in the coming weeks. Senators would get it next as they, too, near approval of a similar version. Now, if both chambers pass identical versions of the bill, it would then head to the governor's desk, and he has voiced approval of the ban in concept. That's the latest out here at the Capitol. I'm Forrest Saunders reporting. The number of Americans filing.